Okay, so what I'm doing today is uh, cleaning out the EGR valve on a Seat Leon FR150 PD TDI. Um, and it should be a very similar or identical procedure for all VW diesels in their similar age, uh, except I think on the Audis they had a slightly different arrangement of where things were laid out. But anyways, um, let's have a look. So the first thing I want to do is remove this dipstick. And that's so I can get the engine cover off, I'm pulling at the back first and then from the front. I'm going to move that to the side and I'm going to replace the dipstick right here. And this is the EGR valve and this is an inter uh, that's the intercooler pipe, not, not the small one but the bigger one below it. That should be clipped on there, I just took that off a minute ago. That's the intercooler pipe, um, and it's held on by this clip. Um, so that's what we're going to get off. Now, to remove this clip, all I need is a flat head screwdriver, which I'm going to wedge under there, lift up, and it should come off with relative ease. Just bear in mind that the curves on the bottom of this are facing towards the EGR valve and away from the intercooler pipe. So I'm just going to place that there. Now the next thing I need to do is just pull the pipe off the EGR valve so just pull the pipe and just wiggle it around a little bit, pull it off and there we have it. I don't know if my camera can get inside there at all, but you can see it's full of gunk and dirt and um, all sorts. Bear with me uh, Show you a bit of that. That's the kind of stuff that's coming out of it. Okay, so now that this is open, we're gonna have a look inside the EGR valve if the camera comes over here. And that is the EGR valve. Right here. And that's the valve that we're trying to clean. You see that there? That's it. Okay. I'm going to first just start off by just giving it a little wipe. Just to see what kind of state it's in. And uh, you can see the soot is really quite thick in there. Um, what I'll be using to clean this is this stuff, which is a Winds Diesel EGR cleaner. Um, and I brought this from Halfords. I'm going to shake that up and just spray a little bit in there. It can be quite tricky to get into. Just continue to spray bits in there. I don't know how well you can see this or how well my camera is doing. But what I can see is a lot of the sludge and gunk is becoming dislodged. You could do this with the engine running, which is probably better, and I'm going to do that as well. What I thought I'd initially do is just spray some in there, I'm going to leave it for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to get a toothbrush or a cloth and just scrub out the bits that I can reach. Um, and then I'm going to fire it up again, uh, fire the engine up, get it warm, and then spray like we did earlier, but revving the engine. Right in there, I'm just scrubbing away uh, as much as I can at all the different bits around the wall, around the valve, as much as we can get, get nice and deep in there. And what that EGR cleaning fluid is on, is uh, the spray, is that it's just made all of this nasty tar build up and carbon that was in there, it's made it all watery. So it's easy to scrub around, and you can see the effect it's had on my toothbrush. That's how it normally looks after I brush my teeth anyways. Um, and I'm just going to now wipe off some of the this in my cloth. Let me see the kind of gunk that we're getting out there, and it already looks a lot cleaner to me inside there. I've got my fingers right in there, and I can feel that it's a lot cleaner in there. Yep, you can see the kind of gunk that's come out. Um, 
Okay. Okay, I've been scrubbing that EGR valve. You can see it already looks a bit cleaner in there. I'm gonna now fire up the engine and uh, we'll spray some more. Okay, so we're gonna rev and then spray. That's a lot of crap that's come out of the EGR valve, right there. Say clean an EGR valve and uh, get a big black cloud of nasty soot out of the car. What I'm going to do now is just put everything back in the way that it was before and uh, I'll just show you how to do that, just in case you forget. So, firstly the intercooler pipe is going to go back on. Uh, just before I do do that... Give this a little wipe. One last time. Okay. So, now I'm going to put the intercooler pipe right back on. Um, that just fits in there with a bit of a wiggle. As you can see now it's tight and plush. And this clip, if we remember, these uh, pins were curved towards the EGR valve and away from the intercooler pipe. So that's how we place them back. You've got to get it right in this little groove over here all the way across. I failed to do that here. So I'm going to have to pull it up and try again. And Yep, it's a little bit more fiddly than it looks. There we go. This time I think, yep, it's clipped right into place. So that's holding that secure. Clip this cable, this pipe back in. Um, and now I'm just going to mount the engine cover back on. And again, I'll remove the dipstick before I do so. And bring my the engine cover back on. So dipstick first, the front first and then back at the end of this one. So it's the opposite way to how we've taken it off. And uh, there we go. We've now cleaned an EGR valve uh, and now all we have left to clean is our hands.